top dog like I just signed a TDE. Gang, 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 gang. No, we all gotta eat. Up late, bills do rent do. I ain't been asleep. Looking in the mirror, all I see is everything that I wanted to be. My city depended on me. That's on GOD. Grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be. I ball like MLB. These Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. I push the start to start my week. I'm in this photo, poor so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo, poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning. Today, from Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Carolina Panthers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the Vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful... First down, it's Stanley, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 21 carries, 79 yards, and a touchdown. Well, to no one's surprise, he gets an early rep right there, and they've been playing their best ball the season as they built this winning streak, and that includes the ground game, where he's kept the offense productive and put them in position to win ball games. The question now is, can this defense that he's facing do what others have not and finally put a stop to this streak? That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were terrific a week ago in that win over Detroit. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball? or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. Well, that was big right there because they're in the bottom five in the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Rich. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. 
Drake London, his first touchdown on the year. And the Falcons get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And trotting out there, no introduction needed for this guy around the league. Now in his seventh season as a QB. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. The numbers for him from a week ago, 13 carries, 77 yards. And those numbers have both he and his blockers motivated this week. They saw that yardage total climbing, but stopped short of 100. Every one of them has to be driven this week to help him reach the century mark. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more, because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. Looking to throw. Goddard trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game. They started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 14 to nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. 
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Throwing after the interception. Goddard. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. Off play action. Goddard. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Throwing on third and long. Goddard. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And the Falcons grab it. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Following the fumble recovery, Rich throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Now a give right side. It's Stanley. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Back to throw. Rich forced out to his left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Falcons take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. now they'll come up on a first and ten looking to throw Goddard open man that's Noah Fant the tight end so eight yards on the completion there and they'll be left with second and a couple Second. 
Singletary, they'll go up the middle, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Now, a quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Goddard, this is Fant on the short completion. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. With a heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one and wound up hitting him for a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. On first and ten, Goddard, and that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Second and ten now from the 27. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. Right back to him on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Off the play fake. Goddard. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. A 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. Back to throw. Goddard. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. LaVisca Chennault. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Panthers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, since we don't have a rooting interest in this one, neither one of us wanted to see this one get out of hand too early. Here we are in the first quarter. That was an important response for them to score already down 21. Now the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to so that drive spans 13 plays. And it was the touchdown catch from LaVisca Chenault that capped it all off. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Rich, 
And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. To throw on third down. Rich escaping the pressure right. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. They'll run on first down. Stanley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'll go option to the short side. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. On third down. It's Stanley, and he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They're able to convert with a gain of four. A pretty wild first quarter, 21-7, our score. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 21. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. It's a game of 20. And the Falcons first down. First down, Rich. He's got his man, London, right side. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. the ground with a tight end and he'll get it down close to the goal line but not quite in second and goal from the one now a handoff up the middle it's Stanley and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair and that's what I'd like to see out of this defense a little fire a little toughness it hasn't been the best first half for them they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A great effort there. 
His first rushing touchdown on the year as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point forthcoming. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Panthers' offense, they get set to come back onto the field. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. On first down, they stick with Singletary. They find some open field here. And they do finally get him at the 12. A big play there for Carolina. 48 yards. With that last effort, he has reached now 10,000 career rushing yards. Congratulations. Big time congratulations. That also means that his publicist can make sure all the information gets to every voter out there who has a say in the Hall of Fame. Fashioning together a heck of a resume. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Off play action. Goddard. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. From three yards out. And the Panthers are able to cut into that deficit. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now the try here for the point after. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now Lewis selects to return it. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Off the play fake, Rich. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Yeah. 
from the gun on third down. Rich, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Up the middle they go. Stanley knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Rich oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. Throwing on first down. Goddard, he'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown, Carolina! A big play there. 46 yards. And the Panthers have cut it back within a score. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run right after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Extra point attempt to follow here. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception, tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. On first and 10. Goddard, and he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. 
Singletary again. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The offense on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. There are a lot of tough routes to try and cover. When you see a runner come out of the backfield and run this angle route, looks like they're going to the flat, and then they put their foot in the ground and cut back sharply inside, not easily covered, and then when they catch it, good momentum built up by them as well. And able to pick up the first. They run here with Singletary. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Ouch. Could have been a game-tying touchdown. They'll have to hold on that at least for now. Ouch in a big way, like ripping the Band-Aid off there. Can they let the sting subside and come back and get it done? He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. And the ball situated at the nine, second and goal. Operating from the gun, Goddard. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. A big win there defensively on second and goal. A loss of seven, and it brings up third. You've caught plenty of games in your career. Do you believe in momentum, my man? I do, and I think we're seeing it right here. Oh, there's no doubt about it. The run that he's been on. How about that? Three sacks in a game a week ago, and another one right here. Oh, he's feeling it in a big way. Third and goal, and still a long way from the end zone. Operating from the gun, Goddard. His throw caught right around the six, but still not enough. Fourth down. Now here's the Panthers special teams unit to try a field goal for three. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. And this one is right through. And that'll bring him back within four. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. I think by now it's been demonstrated quite well in the NFL that mobility is an attribute, but when you couple it with accuracy, you've really got something going, able to get outside the pocket and complete the pass. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Stanley, and they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Off play action. Rich. He finds his man complete. It's Harper. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 
18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Second and short. That's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Back to throw. Rich targeting Pitts on the out route, and he's got it complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it's second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. Looking to throw on second down. Rich. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Looking to throw. Rich, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So out now comes the field goal unit for the Falcons. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. This will be caught downfield by Moore. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Looking middle, and that's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 31-yard line. Back to throw. Goddard. Left side here. That's the tight end fan. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. And this one is incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone. A lot to get to here this final day of September. So let's get started. 
We'll start in the NFC, and specifically the NFC South. Tampa Bay traveling to the Bayou to take on New Orleans. And it's the Buccaneers who are out in front in the second quarter. The Buccaneers locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And you can see they trail the visiting Buffalo Bills in that ball game. The Bills trying to hold on and claim victory. Finally, we'll save the biggest for last as we head to AT&T Stadium to see what's happening with the Cowboys at home in Arlington. As you can see the score there in the second quarter. Josh Palmer, a touchdown catch in that first half. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Panthers ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. With Charles in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now a run with Singletary. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Got her complete on the quick throw to Moore. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw. Goddard firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. First down, Goddard completes it to Fant on the right side. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Here's Singletary. Oh, a fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. 98 yards rushing now for Singletary, and he's got a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They will run with Singletary. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers. 
Panthers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, it was second and goal. You're in there close. That's the fullback's comfort zone. Not only is it his comfort zone, it's an expectation. That's what he's supposed to do. Turn and hand it to him. Big guys fire out. Find your way into the end zone. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Now Lewis selects to return it. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up. In He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 37 yards. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half. They came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big game. On first down, it's Stanley. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Off the play fake. Rich. They'll roll him out. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. Well, they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you run a play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Looking to throw. Rich. They'll find Taylor. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 12-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Rich over the middle. It's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And it's second down. Up the middle they go. Stanley. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And his kick is good. And with it, they have taken the lead. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think he'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. They'll run here with Singletary. 110 yards on the ground for him so far. The last run got six, now second and four. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. On third and two. Goddard, and a quick throw here, that's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 45-yard line. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On the ground, it's Singletary. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. was a good run and it got to the second level and what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play first level being the defensive front last level being the secondary but the strong safety position end up making the tackle and oftentimes we call them a hybrid combination defensive back combination linebacker we saw the linebacker make the stop here's play number seven on the drive this is third and seven Back to throw. Goddard. This is Fant on the inside the 35. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle, Singletary. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Looking to throw, Goddard. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher if guys trying to get to the football. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Singletary here running out of the gun. And they're knocking on the door now. As a good run there, going to take this to about the 10-yard line. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. 
So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try to put it in that way. 